Ignis Kim. Today on Kingdom Quest, we're going to continue our journey talking about signs along the Believer's Highway. Yeah! That's why we're all dressed up with safety gear. But Deaconess, Kim, what does that mean again? That we're looking for signs? Well, it means that we're reading the Gospel of John and looking for reasons why we believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. I know one way I will believe. What's that? I'm going to pray that Jesus gives me a pet skunk. A pet skunk? Why do you want a pet skunk? Well, I would be the only kid in my school with a pet skunk. That would be super cool. So if Jesus is really the Son of God, and if he really loves me, he ought to give me a pet skunk. So that's what I'm going to pray for. Well, kids, do you think that'll work? <laughs> Judy, you can pray for anything, and God wants us to pray to him. But that doesn't always mean you'll get it. Why not? Well, let me ask you this. Did you ask your dad for a pet skunk? Yeah. Well, what did he say? He wasn't going to give me one. Well, why? Well, he said it would just spend all day watching TV and it would get the sofa and the TV remote all smelly. What? Oh, I think he was just kidding me. But he did say we don't need a pet skunk. Well, I think he's right. And that's not why we pray to God, so he can prove he's God by giving us whatever we want. Don't other people ever ask Jesus to prove that he is God? Well, it happens all the time, but that doesn't mean it's a good idea. Today, let's look at the Gospel of John, and we will find that the religious leaders asked Jesus to prove that he was God by showing them a special sign or miracle. Let's watch today's Bible event from the Gospel of John. Then, Judy, you'll take another trip along the Believer's Highway to look for the sign about today's lesson. Pay close attention so you can fill in the blanks when you find the sign. You mean I get to drive again? Awesome! That's right. On the Believer's Highway, kids can drive just as well as adults because we are all growing on our spiritual journey, learning to trust Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. So buckle your seatbelts and let's go for a ride. Today's Bible event is from John chapter 2. Jesus went up to Jerusalem and visited God's temple, but in the temple he found people selling animals and people sitting with tables of money. Making a whip of cords, he drove them all out of the temple and out of God's house. He poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And he told them, Take these things away. Do not make my father's house a house of trade. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. But the Jews said to him, What sign do you show us for doing these things? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, It has taken forty-six years to build this temple, and you will raise it up in three days? But Jesus and his disciples left the temple. No one understood at the time, but Jesus was talking about the temple of his body. Later, when he was raised from the dead after three days, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. Yippee! I get to drive again. I wonder what the sign will be today, though. There wasn't a big miracle in the Bible event. Huh. Oh, hey! I think there's a sign coming up. Let's see! Hmm. Is Jesus God by doing what you said? That's a strange sign, but I guess it's talking about what I said before, isn't it? I said I believe in God for sure if he gave me a pet skunk. So would that make Jesus God if he gives me whatever I want when I pray? I mean, what? That would be so cool. But I guess Jesus is bigger than that. Oh, here comes another sign. Oh no, more blanks to fill in. Hmm. The first sign said, Is Jesus God by doing what you said? So, no, he is blank. He is... What do you think, kids? What goes in the first blank? Wait, I'll bet it's God. Jesus is God, right? 
that must be it. Okay, so, so far we have, no, he is God because he rose from the blank. Oh, I bet it rhymes with the first sign again. So what rhymes with said? Red, head, bread? Those don't make sense. Jesus is God because he rose from the, oh, I know, dead. Jesus rose from the dead. So today's sign is, no, he is God because he rose from the dead. I think we got it. Let's go back and tell Deaconess Kim. Deaconess Kim, I really like driving on the Believer's Highway. Yeah, we're all on our own journey of faith, but did you see the signs? Yeah, today there was a question. Mm -hmm. Is Jesus God by doing what you said? Good, and what's the answer to that? No, he is God because he rose from the dead. Exactly. When Jesus cleaned out the temple, the religious leaders asked what right he had to do that. Now, he had plenty of right to do it if he truly was God's son, but they didn't believe that he was. They wanted him to, to prove himself by doing a miracle. But he didn't do a miracle this time. No, he didn't. Instead, he pointed to a sign in the future when he would die on the cross, but rise from the dead after three days. Wow, I guess Jesus must be God if he could rise from the dead. For sure, that's not something that anyone can do. Our key Bible verse this week also talks about that. Romans 1 verse 4 says, Jesus was declared the Son of God in power by his resurrection from the dead. So then, if he can do that, do you think I'll still get my pet skunk? Judy, do you think it means that your dad doesn't love you just because he didn't get you a pet skunk? I suppose not. Well, the same thing is true about God. It is? Right. He doesn't want to prove that he's God by doing special tricks for us. And Jesus doesn't want to prove that he's God's son just by doing whatever we want. Yeah. Then there would be too many pet skunks. He might run out of skunks because everybody would want a pet skunk. Not quite. It's just that there's a more important way that he proved that he's God's son. How was that again? Well, I know you know that, Judy. Jesus proved that he is God's son by giving his life for you and dying on the cross and then by rising again. Oh, yeah, I did know that. That's why he can give me forgiveness. That's right. And that's why we can be friends with Jesus and know him personally. That's what he's interested in most. Not just proving he's God, but proving that he loves you. Yeah, I guess you're right. Even though having a pet skunk would be pretty cool, it's more important to know that Jesus loves me. It certainly is. Now, Judy, would you pray for us? Yes. Dear Lord, thank you for loving us so much that you sent your son to take our place. Jesus died on the cross to take away our sins. He rose from the dead. This is the most awesome sign you could show us of your power and love. It was a sign that Jesus is God and a sign that you love us. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thanks, Judy. And thanks to you, too, for joining us for another lesson with Kingdom Quest. We'll keep on driving down the Believer's Highway next time and learn about more signs that Jesus really is God's Son and our Savior. Until next time, have a great week. Remember that Jesus loves you always.